a 99-yard pick six that felt like a thousand yards in the words of redshirt senior Joe Ferguson, who set a school record on Friday with the longest interception return in Badger history. And I'm willing to bet he'll stand as the only guy who will accomplish that with a broken thumb, by the way. He joins us now to talk about it. So, Joe, what happened on that play from your vantage point? Well, to start off, like, they, they had done a really long drive, uh, I'm pretty sure from the other end of the field. So I was already kind of gassed. And I remember thinking, you know, it's in the, we're in the red zone now. We've got to lock in. Only, only a few more plays. Like, let's try and hold them to a field goal. So, uh... Me in the corner, we were playing something where I take the inside guy and he takes the outside guy. And the, my guy just came right at me. He broke in and kind of muscle memory took over from there. I broke right with him. And uh, the quarterback, we had good pressure. He rolled out and uh, put it right on me. And uh, then we were off to the races, if you can call it that. <laughs> What's the first thing running through your mind as you realize you just scored a 99-yard touchdown on that play? Honestly, I was just so tired. Uh, <laughs> one of the things we always talk about uh, that Coach Leonard talks about is if you ever catch a game-winning interception or, or take it to the house and you're near our uh, tunnel, just run into the tunnel. Just be done. Go to meet everybody in the locker room. And so <laughs> that was going through my mind partly, but uh, the other half of it was just celebrate with your teammates and, and catch, catch, some, uh, catch some air. And as a Madison native, I'm sure you had lots of friends and family in the house. So what was their reaction to the play that you made? Uh, well, when I got back to the locker room, my phone was just blowing up. All my families and friends, they're so proud, so happy. Uh, yeah, it was just it was a great moment to share with uh, all my friends and uh, my relatives who live, don't even live in Madison. They got to see it on TV because it was on ESPN. So it's just really cool. What was your favorite text reaction to that? Oh, man. Well, some of my friends were putting it on Snapchat, and they were saying, like, yeah, great job, Joe, but you got to, like, run a little bit faster, man. Come on. <laughs> like, it was just funny. Like, everybody was really cool about it, but, like, uh, they were uh, kind of giving me crap, too. I love it. And you mentioned your relatives. You are the grandson of Barry Alvarez. So tell us one thing that we might not know about your grandpa that other people would not know as well. Hmm. One thing that, uh, one thing people might not know is, to me, he's kind of a pretty boy. He, uh, he likes his massages and all that nice pan he likes to be pampered he's kind of like he comes off as like a real hard-nosed guy but uh on the inside once you get to know him he's like a kind of softer he's got a gentler side <laughs> really would not have predicted yeah. that one uh and mm -hmm. also how would you describe your football career you started as a walk-on you've now been in madison wisconsin for five years working your way up through the system how would you describe the way your football career has gone uh, it's been a roller coaster. I feel like I've had just about every role that you could have on a team. Uh, started as a walk-on and eventually uh, earned a scholarship, but uh, and and starting to contribute. But um, yeah, it's been a ton of ups and downs, but uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I'll just describe it as uh, the best experience um, in my life this, thus far. So you've been there a long time. You've seen several different Wisconsin teams. What feels different about this year for the Badgers? This team feels uh, a lot closer uh, than ones in the past. It just feels like we're always joking around with each other. Uh, there isn't really very many clicks. Everybody is able to talk to each other. Everybody's able to hang out on weekends. Uh, just a, a lot of friends in this, uh, on this team. What's one thing you think that Wisconsin football has done for you to prepare you for life after football? Uh, they do a, a good job of uh, just teaching you how to deal with adversity. They give us all these resources and uh, they kind of give you all the tools and they don't really hold your hand. They give you all the tools and they say, uh, you can figure it out. You need to grow and learn this as a man. And if you take it upon yourself, uh, to, to do all the things that they, they tell you how to do. Um, you really learn how to become a better person and they prepare you for really, I think, whatever challenge that you'll face in the future. And the Wisconsin defense has faced multiple challenges as far as coaching turnover goes. You now are under the leadership of Jim Leonard. What do you like most about playing for a guy like him? 
Um, the thing I like most about Coach Leonard is he just knows how to relate it to, to guys. Like, in the past, um, you'll have coaches who are just as smart or coaches who who um, know just as much about the game. But uh, the thing about Coach Leonard is that he's done it before, and he knows how hard it is, and he knows what you're going through. And he just, every all his coaching points are just so clear, and they make so much sense. It, it almost feels like you're playing like high school football again, where you're just going out there and playing. Like uh, Everything is just so much clearer, and it makes everybody's job a ton easier. How has the Wisconsin defense been able to withstand so much change but still maintain a high level of success, do you think? I think it's just everybody, um, all the relationships that we've built and uh, how close we are as, as friends and as teammates. I mean, when, some, when adversity strikes, uh, it almost doesn't phase us anymore. It's just like, you know, like whatever, like we're still here, we still have each other, like let's just make the most out of it. And I think we've taken that approach in, in just about everything. And it, it seems like it has nothing has phased us so far, so hopefully we can keep that up. And you made the most of the win over the weekend. What's one thing that Wisconsin football needs to do well in week two as you look to build upon a successful season? Week two, well, uh, FAU has a, a really talented team. Um, we need to be able to contain their playmakers and uh, get lined up and have great communication and obviously tackle well. All right, that is Joe Ferguson with the 99-yard interception. Congrats on the big play, Joe. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you. The Badgers square off against FAU on Saturday for a noon kickoff. You can catch that one right here on Big Ten Network.